people migrate. They have always done so. In modern times, people massively migrate in search of work outside of agriculture. This has led to the rapid growth of cities. People left the hardships of peasant life in the hope of a brighter future elsewhere. Over the past two centuries, many millions left their home countries even, in search of a better life abroad. Such labor migration was and is a global phenomenon. The recent digitization of the economy has even accelerated migrant mobility on all labor markets. The number of migrants seeking work through digital platforms has exploded, both in the more and less developed economies of the world. Digital platforms apparently are found to be attractive by newcomers to the big city or a faraway foreign labor market. How come? Here's a first answer. On-location platform work is appealing because it usually has lower barriers for entering the local labor market and gig jobs generate income fast. And that's what migrant workers need most upon arrival, cash, and soon. Platforms make it simple to sign up for work. All you need is to get in touch through a cell phone. In-depth knowledge of the local language and culture is not needed for the kind of low-skilled, menial, temporary service jobs on offer. So, migrants often start as couriers, taxi drivers, house cleaners, gardeners, children or elderly carers, maintenance workers. And there, many get stuck. For a multitude of reasons. Migrant workers, working through a digital platform or not, and no matter if they are high or low skilled, are likely to face more problems than the local working population that is deep-rooted and well-established. Migrants face poor labor and working conditions, little or no access to traditional employment benefits, low wages, and therefore no savings to invest in their future, weak legal positions without recourse or appeal, non-negotiable and deliberately opaque contracts, if any, little or no social protection at all in case of accidents or illness, a language and culture barrier, difficult integration, discrimination or racism, little or no bargaining power where workers come from different regions or countries, harsh competition for work, threat of a race to the bottom, no collective representation. The emergence of e-platforms as gig job providers has brought with it additional problems, typical for the gig economy, but hitting low-skilled migrant workers more severely, especially when they want to enter the labor market through an on-location e-platform. Gig workers run the risk of being treated as disenfranchised and disposable. Microtasks or gigs do not guarantee job income security. The price of a gig job is often unilaterally imposed by the platform. Price setting is not transparent, it's a black box. There is hardly any recourse against abuse such as non-payment. There is a lack of grievance or complaint mechanisms. There is no management to talk to, the algorithm bosses you around. Unequal access to relevant labor law and regulations between platform and worker. The gig is performed in isolation, no colleagues to team up with, but rather anonymous competitors. In conclusion, a lot remains to be done. On-location e-platforms may be expected to abide by the national labor law, like everybody else. To bring pay levels of gig workers up to the level of employees doing work of equal value, and to facilitate access to social security, to say the least. They should be held responsible and accountable for their behavior as employers. National governments have an active role to play, as issuer of rules and regulations, as well as enforcer of the law. A race to the bottom is nobody's gain. One should keep in mind that the work offered by on-location platforms is usually low-skilled. The workers do their gigs in isolation. Social mobility is very limited. But of course, Gig workers themselves are free to organize one way or the other, to unionize, to create cooperatives, to set up mutual insurance schemes. Fine examples from different countries may serve as sources of inspiration. You don't have to fight your way up all alone, and you don't have to invent wheels that are up and running successfully elsewhere, though 
It's an uphill battle.